Greetings all, Joseph Kursky here. Welcome to Cartographic Design. Greetings folks, Joseph Kursky here with you in our Cartographic Design course. Week eight, dot density maps, flow maps, cartograms in Cartographic Design. This week in our readings and videos, we're going to dig into one dot equals a thousand sheep on the ground. That's an example of a dot density map. One dot equals 15 water quality samples. One dot equals 100 people in this area, census tract, block group, county, etc. How do you make those? How do you communicate with them? And also cartograms, distorting an area, county, a census tract, etc., based on a variable, the amount of something. Not everybody likes cartograms. Some people might might like them. Uh, I like them and I hope you find them useful. But cartograms are an important part of your cartographic tool set. And finally, map layouts. We're going to talk about total SIGs, title, orientation, date, etc. What elements should go into a layout? Not all of them have to go in a layout, but it's important to, th to talk about what should be considered in a layout. This week in our hands-on activity, I'm going to have you, I'm going to ask you to create dot density maps of your own. Also, flow maps could be maps of people moving, it could be river networks, it could be freight moving across railroads or highways, so flow maps. Change over space and time, which is our central theme for this course, one of our central themes. And then how do you create a cartogram? And how do you examine the effectiveness of cartograms? And then finally, let's create a map layout. Let's create a map la layout with some of these core elements, title, source, date, a grid, scale, etc. in a map layout. So that's our agenda for week eight. I hope you enjoy it. I, I hope you find it useful. And we'll see you there in week eight. I make all kinds of maps. That's all I do. And if you saw my maps, you'd love them too. I mapped it. Thanks. We'll see you in week eight.